definitely agree with you on that one. Um, no question about it. Um, also the feast and the feast or famine, you um put out something too as well today where you're talking about um, you know, how it's what they do in the win their wins, what they do what they do in their losses offensively, that 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 has to change as well. Um, it's almost like you can just turn the game off in the first quarter. Like if, if they struggle in the first yeah. quarter, they're, they're not going to win the game. If they score, you know, 10 points, 14 points in the first quarter, they're going to win the game um, it, as far as far as that goes. So really, really tough to kind of um, to see what's going on there. Um, but, you know, there are, listen, the season is not over. It just feels that way because the Chiefs are good again. Um, so, but, the, but, but here you go, that you play the Bengals at home. And then the Chiefs are playing playing the Cowboys, and Dak is going to play. Um, so it's not like they they they, they, they could be with a they could be with a backup again like they were against the Packers. So you could be in a position to tie for first place again. Um, but you need help now, and that's the that's the annoying part about this whole situation. They had they had the, the Bear game, the Giant game. And then, you know, this game where they could have not needed help, they could have been in first place by themselves. Um, the, Chief, uh, the, the Bengals are coming to town. So um, I almost asked you if you were going to the game, but I'm so stupid because I, <laughs> you, 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 I got a ticket from you. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, are your, what are your thoughts here about the Bengals here? Um, you know, um, Samaj P. Ryan is running the football pretty well. Um, so is um, Nixon. Th those two guys are, I mean, I know they got the receivers. But those are the two guys who really scare me the most because if you if you get them to start controlling the line of scrimmage and controlling the game, then you know you know Mixon is just like he, the, the, with a running game that could be really be an issue for the Raiders here. Yeah, and you mentioned it. It's not so much the Kansas City Chiefs like letting them hang around. It's the fact they let the rest of the AFC come get them uh, yeah. by falling down. Um, you hit the nail on the head. You, my key to the game, stop Joe Mixon. I know what they have outside. I know they have Jamar Chase. I know they have Tyler Boyd. I know they have T. Higgins. If Joe and the Raiders can't stop the run. If they if Bengals come in here and hand the ball off and Joe Mixon runs for a buck 40, they're going to get blown. The doors are getting blown off them this week. They don't yep. stop Joe Mixon. They have to get the other team in third and long so that Crosby and Ngakwe can get after the quarterback. You're not going to get after the quarterback when it's third and two, second and four. Uh, things like that. So if they don't stop Joe Mixon, it, it's it's ball game. That is operation number one going to this week. And then obviously don't let Joe, Joe Burrow can move around. He's pretty pretty good in the pocket. Don't let him get out and run for first down. This is another mobile quarterback the Raiders have struggled with all year. Um, but then when you start looking outside, how are you going to stop Jamar Chase? T. Higgins is, is big and long and can win, but down the field 50-50 balls. They have a nice tight end and Uzama over the middle of the field. Oh, they have Tyler Boyd in the slot. The, the weakness on this team, in my opinion, is the tackles. I don't think the tackles are going to can hold up. But if it's if you don't get them in third and long, doesn't they matter. Get the ball out quick, it won't matter. Um, so you got to stop Joe Mixon. This this is a good offense. This is not your grandfather Cincinnati Bengals coming in here. This team can play. Um, yeah. They're pretty good. Uh, they've beaten the Ravens. They went into Pittsburgh, put a nice whooping on, on the Steelers earlier this year. Um, so this this is not a layup by any stretch of the imagination, and we haven't talked about the defense yet. They have a pretty formidable defense as well. Yeah, no question, no question about it. Um, let's see here, um, Ed Hedrickson, who I was like, I was on the fence about paying him that kind of the pay, paying him. Um, he's from the Saints, correct? Um, yeah, he came over from the Saints. The Saints, yeah, eight and a half sacks. So he's been so, so he, he's been a really good player for them. Sam Hubbard has has five, so they can get after they can get after it, Larry. Um, open, open Joby as well on that, on the, on that, on that defensive, on that defensive line. So they do have some players. Logan on Wilson can play too. Yeah. I mean, they got, they got, they got people who can play. So you got to be on top of it. Um, as far as that goes, they are on this kind of the same boat as the Raiders. They've been feast or famine up and down. Almost, almost like they're almost like the Raiders are playing themselves here as far as that goes. Um, but, yeah, but they have been, listen, they, you have to, one thing about Burrow is he will turn it over. He leads. He leads. He leads the NFL in um in, in in interceptions. You can get fumbles out of him too as well, but you have to get to him, and 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 that's the biggest thing here. How do the Raiders get to him? Um, can they get can they get to him with four? I think with those tackles they can. Um, I, if I'm the tackle above um in front of uh, in front of uh, Max Crosby, I'm just gonna hold them all day and. And as long as I don't touch his face mask, I guess they're not gonna call it. So why not? So so why not there? Um, is there a way they can maybe put a little bit more pressure on the on the Bengals here and put 
line up Crosby and Ngakwe together to kind of on third and long. Um, is he just not going to be? He, he won't. He, he won't be get by the guard though. If you put him, if you put him inside, right? Uh, you'd have to slide Crosby inside, and Gakwe's not big enough. I'd leave him on the outside. I don't think John Williams uh, can hold up. I, I don't think the right tackle names. Uh, I think it's Riley Reef, veteran. Uh, Crosby can have his day there. Uh, my, here's my concern with the Bengals. You know how to beat the Bengals defense? You got to beat those outside corners. Where are the Raiders' weakness on offense right now? It's the outside wide receivers. So this is a the Raiders don't match up very good because they have Jesse Bates uh, as a safety. They have Logan Wilson who can cover. They have guys that can get after the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a really good slot nickel corner and Mike Hilton, uh, who, who he can probably leave one on one with Hunter Renfro. Renfro is going to win some of those, but uh, so is Hilton. Hilton's a great blitzer. This is the week. This is what I want the Raiders to do. Darren Waller, you're practicing the wide receivers this week. You're, you're lining up outside all day. We're going to put you out there on those corners. Uh, we're going to throw you the ball against, I believe it's, uh, who's the guy that came over from the, the Cowboys? Abuise? I can't say his name. The guy from Colorado, the corner. Um, uh, but you, you got to beat the two corners out there. They, they don't have great corners. So Brian Edwards is one corner. Darren Waller, you're playing in the other. And we're going to put Foster Moreau and let him play tight end. And yeah. we're not running Zay Jones out there unless Darren Waller needs a break. Uh, we'll mix in Deshaun Jackson with Darren Waller. We want to get Darren Waller on the field with him. But Waller should line up outside no less than 70% of the time he's on the field this week because the Raiders have to throw the ball outside. They need easy completions, the hitch routes, the out routes. Um, pick up four, five, six yards. And then on first down, they got to play fake and take your shots because mm-hmm. you're not going to do it on third and long, not with those edge rushers. They're, they're mm-hmm. both kind of tryhards, in my opinion. Like they're, they're, they, they have really high motors. They're kind of like poor man's Max Crosby type guys, Hubbard and Hendrickson. Um, they're not big speed guys, but they just effort they just guys. Effort guys. They, they never give up. Yeah. And they're going to get yeah. there. Um, yeah. DJ Reader on the inside is a good run stuffer. So it's going to be harder for them to move the ball. They do need to run the ball some, uh-huh. but on first downs, I want them to throw the ball. I want them to come out, play action. And, and none of this, like, throw it in, you know, quick screens for three yards to Hunter Renfro. Screw that. Throw that out of the playbook. Throw the ball down the field. If you're going to do that, just throw, like, a seven and eight yard out. Throw some slants. They have to be unpredictable because if Cincinnati knows what's coming, they, they have the personnel to stop this offense. Um, um, you can probably see where I'm kind of leaning <laughs> with my pick this week. I, uh-huh. I'm not. I'm not confident uh, that the Raiders are going to be able to match up well here because Cincinnati does have a lot of advantages in this game. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not, that's not, that's not, it's not a good look there as far as that goes. Um, I think uh, it's, it's, it's just hard. I mean, cause, cause this is like, because I have already in my mind said, I'm going to be the most relaxed Um you no know, person on Thanksgiving because I don't think they have a chance to win on Thursday uh, on, on on Thanksgiving. So if they don't win this game, um, this is a complete collapse and they're done. Um, they're gonna they're they're just gonna lose. I mean, it, it, the season's over. Like this is gonna be absolutely done if they lose. And they, that's gonna be I'd be a four game losing streak in November. It's just not it's not gonna happen. So um, I still feel like the Bengals have to. I mean, the Raiders, the both. It's crazy because when I say when I say the team playing themselves, both of these teams have to show that they're for real. Like you know, you, you know, like the Bengals have had an up and down season. The Raiders have an up and down season. Um, you know, they, you know, the, so to me, I mean, I'm gonna, I, I probably will pick. The, I probably pick the Raiders to win this game in a real close one. Um, you know, maybe get over the hump and just. I, I just think offensively, they they will definitely play better um, in this game. But I just don't. I, it, it's it's all depends on I mean, it all depends on how 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 many times they can get this team since the beast Bengal team in to a um a hole on third down. Third down is going to be huge in this game for both teams, and the Raiders the Raiders definitely need to get Ngakwe and get Crosby and get those interior pass rushers um in in in, in this in this kid's face because if you don't, I mean, he's, this is going to be a tough offense to deal with, especially when you get to the red zone. You have big body receivers. Um, I, like they do, their tight end is a big guy too as well. So, uh, I'm. This is going to be. This could possibly be the last time I pick him for a minute. Um, pick him to win a game if they lose this one because they're. I just don't see any way. Um, they're going to get a miracle on Thanksgiving. Uh, I think the Raiders. Um, I'm going to pick the Raiders to win this game, uh, 27 to 24. 
um, you know, I think almost like the last team having the ball kind of kind of deal here um, with the Raiders here. What are your thoughts about uh, picking this game? Who do you think is going to come on top? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I think Kyle Hughes check, I, I tweeted it today, had a great quote yesterday. The, the NFL comes down to three things. Convert third downs. Don't turn the ball over. Don't commit penalties. You know what the Raiders are not good at the last couple of weeks? They don't convert third downs. They turn the ball over and they commit a ton of penalties. So um, I'm leaning the other way. I think it's going to be close. I'm going to take Cincinnati 27 to 23. Uh, I think the Bengals uh, get out of there with a four point win. Uh, obviously, it could swing either way. I'm pulling for the Raiders. I, I hope they pull it off. Um, just looking at this, you know, from 30,000 feet up and just looking at the matchups, I don't like how the Raiders' offense matches up with the Bengals' defense. I just don't. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't sit there and. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't, I can't argue the point. I mean, I, I just, I really, I, I just, you know, they have to, and then the first quarter is going to be so telling, like you have, I mean, the first quarter is going to be so telling to see how, um, how this, um, how this, how, how, how this whole thing unfolds here um, for, for the Las Vegas Raiders, because if they don't win this game, and this is where you, when you give away games that you're supposed to win early in the season, like the bear game, like the, um, the bear game and like the whichever game we're looking for the um yeah, the giants game the giants game you cannot it, it's hard to come back from that uh, as far as that goes um week 11 picks i don't know if you got a chance i always kind of forget and then boom well, mine have been picks. so bad i don't want to do it but i do have three picks uh, i think i went over three last week and not only did the three teams i say would win lose they all got slaughtered so hopefully a better week for me this week let me go. Uh, you want to go first? I, I think I, I think, I think yeah. that's not, I, I've been stealing yours a little bit, so you can go first this week. Well, no, it can't be as bad as last week when I told you the Rams would cover and they got killed. I told you the Browns would go to New England and win, and I think the score was 45 to 7. And I don't even remember the third game I picked. It was so bad. But um, oh, it was Baltimore. I thought Baltimore would go to Miami and win. Yeah. Uh, wrong. Uh, this week, I'm going to go the other way. I'm taking an underdog, and I'm taking the points and hoping I get a, a cover here. I, I like the Colts here getting touchdown at Buffalo. Um, I think Buffalo wins this game. I think the Colts can keep it close. I love Jonathan Taylor. I think he's the best running back in football uh, this year. He's, that, what, that's we, just my he's what we thought Josh was going to be. Go ahead. Yeah, so I think they're going to be able to run the ball enough uh, to keep Buffalo at bay. I think their defense is just good enough to not you know, get blown out. This is going to be a close game. So give me the Colts and the seven points. Hopefully Buffalo wins that game. Uh, I'm going back to the Ravens. I, hopefully they didn't do me wrong two weeks in a row. I, laying four and a half at Chicago. I think it's kind of an overreaction to what happened last week. I, I don't know how Justin Fields is going to be able to score a ton of points against that Ravens defense. Chicago just doesn't have the offensive firepower. I think the Ravens feel embarrassed by what happened last week. They're clearly, I don't think Chicago is going to come out and just show them cover zero 40 times in the game. Uh, so I think Baltimore gets the running game going. I think Lamar Jackson proves who he is. Uh, I think they go to Chicago and win pretty easily. Uh, mm -hmm. So the four and a half doesn't bother me. And, you know, I like the Dolphins here too. Dolphins are, are going to New York divisional game. The Dolphins are starting to figure it out defensively. They're playing pretty well. I only have to lay two and a half and they're playing Joe Flacco. Mm -hmm. um, Joe Flacco's not beating cover zero blitzes. I know that. Uh, he's not running away from it. And the, the Jets just don't have weapons that take advantage of that. And, and the mm -hmm. Dolphins have those corners. You can just leave them out there one-on-one -on -one and cover zero, and they're going to come after Joe Flacco. Uh, I think Dolphins win that game pretty easily. And, I, you know, I only have to give up two and a half, even if it's a field goal game. So those are my three picks, Colts plus seven, Ravens minus four and a half, Dolphins minus two and a half. Uh, the way I've been picking games this year, they'll probably all be blowouts. I'll be on the wrong side of all three of them. But that's what I like this week. I am going to go with I um my 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 picks haven't been much better, but I'm gonna take the Pats finally um this week against the Falcons. Um six points is a hell of a lot of points to give up to get to give up give up, but they have been kind of smashing fools a little bit. So I'm gonna go with the Pats as far as as far as that goes to to cover that one. Um I'm going to it's it's tempting to take the Lions to cover. But not back to back weeks. Um, they're gonna get. They're gonna get. Um, I'm, I'm, I know it's ten points, and I'm going crazy a little bit. But I'm gonna go with the Browns bouncing back. I like when a team gets shellacked; they usually bounce back. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Especially a decent team like the Browns. So we'll, so we'll have that. Let me. Um, you know. Let me see here. Let me roll with. There was a game that I did. 
want to kind of roll with here. Who's Cleveland got this week? I don't remember how they're playing. Cleveland has the the Lions, the Campbells. Oh yeah, I, and I think Jared Goff's got a back injury, or they're they're saying something. He may not yeah. even play this week. And I'm gonna roll with. I'm gonna. And I, I mean, if this game is low scoring, it's gonna be crazy. But I'm gonna go with the Cowboys to beat the to beat the yeah. Chiefs. Um, we'll see I was leaning that way too, and it's only what two and a half, two points, two, two and a half, two and a half. So we'll we'll see in this game really like you know, you know, are they really back? And you know, does you know does Kelsey really have his swagger back? A lot of stuff like that. He was doing all that stuff. So we'll see what happens there. But um, I picked the Raiders to to win. Ryan picks them to lose. Um, but like I said, this is like you know, this is a, they don't have a good performance this week. It's back up the truck time because, they, like I said, they are not beating the Cowboys in in Dallas. It's just not happening. I don't. I don't. I cannot see. I can't think of a possible way that you know the Bengals are coming off a bye. I mean, the the, Bell, the Bengals record after after a bye is probably probably very similar to the Raiders' record after a bye. So I can just imagine. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens as far as far as far as that goes. Um. Anything else? Injury reports, any stuff like that? A teamer looks like he's gonna be back, right? Maybe, um, maybe Sunday. Yeah. So yeah, Gillespie he, got put on IR. Unfortunately, um, they, they brought Teamer back. It sounds like Incognito's done for the year. I don't think we're gonna see him. Um, sounds like Moro's ahead of Mullen, which is kind of concerning. I'd hope Mullen would have been back by now, but oh it seems God. like he's gonna be out at least another two weeks. Um, a lot of the guys that left the game, like, it sounds like Keyshawn Nixon's banged up. It, Kwiatkowski's got to be banged up. They just signed a Ansoar uh, off the practice squad to the full time. There's nobody. Roster. There's nobody. There's nobody could take Stoner's spot. There's nobody in the organization. Uh, hopefully, it's Teamer this week on, on uh, the oh. on the street. My God, like somebody has to be able to take. I mean, his, at this point, spot. at this point, why is Javin Weems not? At least he's big and he's physical. Or even DJ Turner, he could be a kick returner and spell. Like, what is Dylan Stoner doing right now? He's horrible on special teams. When he gets in on offense, he, he has penalties. Um, he's not good on covering kicks. Like, I, I'm not sure. Like, yeah. and granted, he was talked up in camp. Is like, I think at one point, Vic Tafer said something about like they thought he was the next Jordy Nelson or something like that. And maybe he is, but right now they need a special teams guy. And he's yeah. just go watch the tape. <laughs> it, it's embarrassing yeah. uh, how he's getting crushed as a gunner. Yeah, he, and then and then like, you didn't, like like here's my thing is like. Like you don't even know the rule. Like you're you're a backup player and you don't know the rules. He didn't he 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 didn't line up correctly. Got a penalty. Cost um Jacobs a huge run against the Giants. And then he kept on you know trying to give people the okie doke weave it in and out of bounds. Um you know you know come on dude like I just can't I can't I can't do I can't do I can't do I can't do. All right we'll see. Hopefully I'm right and you're wrong. I am. My flight leaves um Saturday so I'll have a good night Saturday night regardless. And then hopefully. When I come to the next morning, um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the Raiders will be ready to play um, on Sunday on Sunday morning. Yeah. Anything else? This, this is a tough one for me. I, I, don't text me during the game because I'm I have to work, so I'm not going to be able to see the game. I won't be done until probably five or six. So. Oh wow! Um, so yeah, so 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 no updates. So so no back. No, our back, no updates. Our, our back and forth Unless they Texas win. are great. Are no. great. Are great. Are great. So I would but, say update me if they win, but then if you don't text me by like five o'clock, I'm going to be upset. So um, <laughs> let me text you. I, I'm sure I'll follow. I'm, I'm going to glance at my phone. You know, I can't go the whole game without seeing what the score is. But yeah. Um, Hopefully they win. This is like the one, the one Sunday where I just can't get out of it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, so and yeah. it's a big game, and I know you're not the only buddy I have. Going. I know a lot of people going to this game, so like I'm trying to tell everyone, don't text me during the game. So see what happens. <laughs> my favorite, my to that point, my favorite, um, my favorite. I was walking through New York, and a, a father, a, a, a guy was I had a Met shirt on, with headphones on and a hat, and said. Um, Please don't tell me to score. I DVR the game, and like with the Metro playing in the afternoon, he was like a, a messenger and trying to get to work. Trying, he's trying to get home to watch the game. It was he had a, he had a Metro that said, "Please don't, please, please don't tell me to get, tell me to score the game," um, because because um, I DVR'd it. All right, Ray Nation, turn my phone off. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we could. Yeah, you might, that that probably that probably be a good thing. So, Ray Nation um, and sports fans, um, put on waivers media cover three D Breeder podcast already out um we also have the put on put on raiders podcast 
put on waivers podcast um uh, um marvel um mf um uh, nba and, and major league baseball um we really kind of trash the yankees a lot on that show so yankee fans you know it, it's always fun we we kind of get after gary sanchez because he can't catch all right Raiders. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens with the Raiders here. Um, coming up next week. I'm gonna come, come up on Sunday. Um, see you next time, Raider Nation. Peace. Take care.